one of the worst things that you could do for your mental health is to be useless, not only to other people, but to yourself. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And this week, as voted by all of you beautiful people out there, I am gonna be focusing on how to be a better person. So to kind of lay this week out for you, what I'm gonna be talking about is a bunch of, I don't like the word self-improvement, but it is self-improvement, a bunch of different things to just be better. And this is going to improve your mental health, but this is a topic I didn't think many people would wanna hear about on my channel. Like I try to do a lot of things that are evidence-based and science-based, but these are things that have helped me out to be a better person that have greatly improved my mental health. And I could do like, weeks and weeks and weeks worth of this stuff. So if you like these types of videos, please be sure to give them a thumbs up. Like this is just a bunch of life advice that have helped me out so much when it comes to improving my mental health. Like, but like these are different things to go in conjunction with like meditation and therapy and non-narcotic medications and things like that. But anyways, this video I'm gonna talk about like being useless, okay? And the opposite of being useless is being useful. So. I'll be completely honest with you, completely 1000% honest with you, because that's what I gotta do on my channel. Yesterday, I didn't upload a video, I had one planned out, but I didn't upload one because I was busy being useless, okay? So if you're like me, and this is a little bit of a follow-up to an old video I did, really old video, a lot of you never even saw, but it's about how being in a pity party is the worst thing that we can do and how to get out of a pity party. And yesterday, I was in a pity party, okay? Things are going in my on in my life, things are changing, things are happening, and things aren't going my way. And my brain, and a lot of our brains, default into me, 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 why is everything so bad? Why don't people do what I think they should do? Why is everything so wrong? My life's terrible, everybody's against me, and all this stuff. And we sit in that, and we sulk in that, and the problem is, is that we start to be useless to ourselves and others. So when we talk about the opposite of uselessness is usefulness, right? What's being useful, okay? It's it's our motivation, it's our drive, it's our passion, it's what gets us up in the morning, it's what makes us happy, all right? So what makes me happy? What makes me happy? Something that makes me happy is being there for other people, is helping other people, is helping other people get out of this hole that they're in. That's what makes me happy. But when I fall into this mode of self-pity and self-doubt and all these other things, I wanna curl up in a little fetal position and just not move. I shut down and you might be able to relate to this, okay? And that's what happened yesterday. I, I pretty much shut down. Now, I will say this, I got to go spend some time with my son. We went to the eSports arena here in Las Vegas. We played a bunch of Fortnite. I had fun with my son and things were great. But the problem is, is that afterwards, you know, on the drive home and I'll take my son back to his mom's house, my brain started going again. My brain started going back into self-pity and anger and resentment. And my son is, you know, he's still living off that high of we just played a bunch of video games and had so much fun. He's just talk, talk, talking away. And when I get into that mode, I shut down, right? So dad's gone. Right, that charismatic, fun dad that my son loves so much is gone. And that's what I want you all to kind of think about right now, is when you get into modes of anger or depression or self-doubt or self-pity, like how does it affect the people around you? What happens to the people around you? Are you able to be useful to them? Okay, now this isn't to say that you're always gonna be in a great mood because you're not. That is a very, very, very unrealistic expectation. But the first step in this process is to acknowledge what's happening. To acknowledge that the people in your life are being affected when you go into this mode, right? For some of us, we're not able to be a good son or daughter. For some of us, we're not able to be a good boyfriend or girlfriend or a good husband or wife, a good father or mother when we get into that mode. So the first step in this is just to acknowledge it. What I did personally, many years ago is write down the negative emotions I have and I wrote down how does it affect my usefulness to others, right? And I started to really see, I'm like, wow, my moods, my mental health really does affect the people around me. Now, the other part of it is too that you might wanna write down is, how does this affect my usefulness to myself? And as I mentioned, I'm not able to do the things that I love, the things that I'm passionate about. That's why I didn't upload a video yesterday. This is what motivates me. This is what drives me. This is what makes me happy. So I gotta get out of that. I have to get out of it. Now, this can come in many different forms, but one of the biggest things that you just need to do 
is this, and this is gonna be a theme all week long, all week long, this is gonna be the theme. Every single day, you should have one goal, just one goal, and I swear to God, this will make life so much better. The one goal that you need to have is to be just a little bit better, just a little bit better. See that, you see how close my, my fingers are together? Just a little bit better than you were yesterday. If you wake up every single morning with the goal to be just a little bit better than you were yesterday, you are constantly in this forward trajectory. Okay, things will improve, things will get better. And what does being better mean? It could be anything. It could be acknowledging your self-pity. It could be acknowledging getting into that slump. It could be acknowledging how you're not being useful to yourselves or others, just acknowledging that, right? But then, as the days go by, as the weeks go by, as the months go by, as the years go by, you start doing stuff. You start being proactive about these things. You start taking care of your mental health. You start exercising or meditating or seeing a therapist or taking your dang medications, right? You start doing whatever it takes to be just a little bit better than you were yesterday. So this morning I woke up, and this isn't even the topic I was going to do yesterday, but I woke up just reinvigorated because I was able to reflect on my day yesterday and say, man, I fell into pits of being useless and I don't wanna do that, right? So today I, I was re-motivated with that passion, that drive, that, that go get itness right? To help others around myself, which also helps me too, all right? So do me a favor and please share this video. Please share this video if you know of people who like to isolate, get into self-pity, or if you think this video helped you. Share with others because I guarantee you're not the only one going through this, all right? But that's what I got, and I would love comments below on what your thoughts on this are. What do you think makes you useless? What emotions make you useless to yourself and others? Let's have a conversation down below, okay? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. So click that little round subscribe button and a big, big, big thank you to everybody supporting me over on Patreon. And if you would like to support the channel and what I'm trying to do here, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Be useful today and I'll see you next time.